Hi guys, this is me, Sirego, and today we're solving radical equations. There are several types of radical equations. Let's start from the beginning. We're going to do all type of radical equations. The first one we're going to solve is having only one radical. Okay, so we only have one radical. That means we have to leave it by itself before we can get rid of the radical itself. So there's a minus 2. So first thing is plus 2 plus 2. Then I'll have cubic root of 2x minus 4 cancels equals to 2. And then to get rid of the cube root, I have to raise both sides by the same index. If I have a cubic root, then I'll raise it to a third power. That will cancel that. And I'll have 2x minus 4 and 2 to the third power is 8. After that, it's just a matter of solving. Plus 4, plus 4. I have 2x equals to 12 divided by 2 x equals 6. Once you get an answer, make sure you go back and plug it in to double check the answer. So I have cubic root of 2 times x is 6 minus 4 minus 2 equals 0. 2 times 6 is 12 minus 4 on the inside. Don't forget the little 3 right there. Minus 2 on the outside. 12 minus 4 is 8. So I have cubic root of 8, and cubic root of 8 is 2. Minus 2 is 0. Therefore, this is the right answer. Let's work on another one. Now let's solve this one. What's the difference between this one and the other one? But now I have another variable. Before, I only had a number. Now I had a variable, and that's going to change the whole thing. Same idea. My radical leave by itself. Get rid of that 7. Minus 7 minus 7. Then I have square root of x minus 1 equals x minus 7. Same idea. To get rid of the square root, remember I have a tiny 2 that I don't have to write. So I need to raise, raise it to the second power on both sides. Square root cancel the square. I have x minus 1 on this side. And in the other side, I have x minus 7 to the second power, which means that I have x minus 7 times x minus 7. I got to solve that doing FOIL. So x minus 1, and now let's multiply that. x times x is x squared. x times negative 7 is negative 7x. Negative 7 times x is negative 7x. And that's going to give me a positive 49. Now, because I have quadratic, I got to move everything to one side. Let's get rid of this x minus 1. So minus x minus x plus 1 plus 1. Let's do it in one shot. So x minus x cancels out. Negative 1 plus 1 cancels out. Therefore, I have a 0 on this side. In the other side, I have x squared. Let's combine all the x's. Negative 7 minus 7 is negative 14. Minus 1 is negative 15x. And now I have 49 plus 1 is 50. Quadratic equation, I got to solve it. Proud of and sum, two numbers that multiply get 50, but when you add negative 15, yeah, my numbers are x and x. The numbers are 10 and 5. Because the sum is negative, both have to be negative. Let's double check. Negative 10 times negative 5 is 50. Negative 10 minus 5 is negative 15. But remember, the idea is to find the values of x. So make it equal to 0 plus 10 plus 10, that means x equals 10, plus 5 plus 5, x equals 5. The value of x will always be the opposite sign of the factor. If this is x minus 10, then x value is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0, okay? So the values are 10 and 5. Now, what do I do? I need to double check each answer to make sure that they're right. So let's plug it back in. Let's plug the other 10. Let's do the 10 first. Uh, my original, 10 minus 1 plus 7 equals 2x, which is 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. And 3 plus 7 is 10. That means 10 is a valid answer. Let's plug back the other one, which is 5. x equals 5. x minus 1, so 5 minus 1 plus 7 is equal to x. x is 5. Now, 
5 minus 1 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 7. 2 plus 7 is 9, not 5. So these two are different. Therefore, x equals 5 is not an answer. All right? It's called an extraneous solution. So the only answer that I have is this because x equals 5 is an extraneous solution. Make sure you always double check your answers. Let's try another one. Now I have two radicals. Believe it or not, this is an easy one. Now, the idea is always to leave the radical by itself. That means let's leave this radical by itself. Let's move that to the other one, to the other side, I'm sorry. If this is negative, it's going to go positive to the other side. So let's rewrite that. I have 2x plus 3. And now this is going to go to the other side, positive, which turn into x plus 2. Now, they don't have an index, meaning they don't have a little number in here. That means you have a little 2 right there. They're square roots. Because they're square roots, how can I cancel them? Raise it to the second power. You're right. Now, that square is going to cancel this radical, and that square will cancel that radical. So both radicals will cancel. And what is inside will come out. And now you solve for x, and you go and you plug it back in. Let's do everything in one shot. Minus x, minus 2, minus x, minus 2. So 2x minus x gives me x. Oops. Instead of canceling this 2, let's cancel this 3. Let's just bring everything down. So 2x minus x is x plus 3. x cancels. The idea is to leave the x by itself. So minus 3, minus 3. And now I cancel this. And x equals 2, negative 1. I have to double check my answer. Let's plug it back in. Two x plus three minus x plus two equals zero. And I wrote over this thing. All right, equals zero. So again, x is negative one. So it's two times negative one is gonna give me negative two plus three minus negative one plus two. And that's gonna give me equals to zero. Negative 2 plus 3 is going to be 1. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And that satisfies my original radical equation. Therefore, this answer is the correct answer. Now, let's do one which I call the monster of all of them because it's really, really confusing and it's really long process. But those are the type of problems that you'll get on test unfortunately so let's get into that monster let's go presenting the monster so if you notice there's only one little difference adding a number okay i still have two radicals but now i have an extra number that number is going to make the whole big difference same idea though i need to leave one of the radicals by itself on one side therefore this one goes to the other side if this is negative on the outside it's going to go positive to the other side let's do that so i have three x plus 1 here equals this negative goes positive. x minus 1 and the 2 is positive. Right? I move this one to the other side. I have this now. Same idea. There's a tiny 2. There's a tiny 2. Therefore, I have to raise it to the second power. Second power. The difference here is now that I have two terms to the second power. Keep that in mind. This square cancel the radical so i have 3x plus 1 equals because i have two terms to the second power then i got to do foil so let's break that into two different parentheses square root of x minus 1 plus 2 and the same parentheses square root of x minus 1 plus 2 and now i got to do foil let's keep this 3x plus 1 foil Radical times radical. Here comes. I have x minus 1 to the second power, right? That times that is that to the second power. Next, radical times 2. So I have 2x minus 1. Let's take the second term. 2 times the radical. 2x minus 1. 
And then last but not least, two times two, which is four. Okay, this square cancels the radical. So let's start with writing slowly. Three x plus one. The square cancels the radical, so the x minus one comes out. Then I have two square root of x minus one plus two square root minus one. So I have four of that plus four x minus one. And at the end, I have a plus four. If you notice, as soon as I did all that process, some of the, the radicals move away, but I still have one radical. So there's another round of the same process. So now we need to get rid of everything except for the radical on this side. So let's combine that. So I have 3x plus 1 equals x. And now this negative 1 and 4 is going to give me plus 3 and then 4x minus 1. The idea is to leave this term by itself. So I got to do minus x minus 3 minus x minus 3. Let's just raise because we need more space. So let's continue here in the top. So I have 3x minus x is going to give me 2x. 1 minus 3, negative 2. And here I'll have this cancel, this cancel, and I'll have 4 square root of x minus 1. Okay? And now the radical is by itself. It has a number that is multiplying, but it doesn't matter. It's multiplying. Now let's write to the second power because you have a square root right there. Everything to the second, everything to the second. Same as before, I had two terms to the second power. So let's break it into two and let's do FOIL. I broke it into two because we're going to do FOIL. Now, this square is going to affect the radical and it's going to affect the four. Four to the second power, 16. This radical to the second power cancels the, the radical. So I have x minus one. Okay, be careful with that step. Now let's do FOIL here. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Negative 4x plus 4 equals, let's do FOIL, 16x minus 16. And now there's no radicals. Finally. Now let's work it out. Let's combine like terms and let's bring everything to one side because I have a quadratic function. 4x squared, negative 4 minus 4, negative 8x, plus 4, equals 16x minus 16. Let's erase. The idea is to bring everything to one side. So let's do minus 16x plus 16 minus 16x plus 16, right? Obviously, this is going to cancel, and this is going to cancel, and my answer will be equal to 0, okay? And this side, I'll have 4x squared. Negative 8 minus 16 is negative 24x, and 16 and 4 is 20. And now I have a trinomial. Now I can factor it, okay? Now, let's try to make it easier. If you notice, I have a 4 in front of the x squared, right? Let's see if the 4 goes here and goes there. It does. So that means to make my life easier, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So I can cancel that linear coefficient in front of the x squared. 4 divided by 4 cancels. Negative 24 divided by 4, negative 6. 20 divided by 4, and 0 divided by 4 is 0. So this trinomial that it was much bigger, it turns into something easier. I have to factor, find the values of x. Factor, two numbers, they multiply, get 5, but you add it, you get subtract, it gets negative 6. 5 and 1, both have to be negative. Therefore, this trinomial factors into x minus 5 minus 1 equals 0. Let's double check. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. Negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. Okay, finally, I got to find the values of x and then plug it back into my original, but I erased my original, so I'm going to bring back my original function. Okay, we have our original back. Now, x minus 5, x minus 1 equals 0. 
therefore the x the x value here is 5 and here the x value is 1 so x equals 5 and x equals 1 those will be my answers we got to plug it back in to see if they make sense or not remember we we need to check for extraneous solutions always plug it back in let's plug the 5 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 is 16 minus remember I'm doing the 5 5 minus 1 is 4 square root of 16 is 4 square root of 4 is 2 4 minus 2 is 2 that means this is a good answer. Let's do the same for the one. Three times one is one, I'm sorry, three times one is three plus one is four minus one minus one is zero. Square root of four is two, square root of zero is zero. Two minus zero is zero, therefore this is also a good answer. So my answer for these problems all right, x equals 5 and x equals 1. All right, guys, I hope you understand that. Make sure you ask questions on the comment section. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Give me topics on future um, videos. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you around. Take care. Bye-bye.